What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing Kurt Cobain's version of And I Love Her. Now, just to be clear, this is not really the same way that the Beatles would have played this song, but it's going to be good practice for open position power chords. Um, you don't have to be the strongest singer to sing it. And um, it's also good to start mixing in some single note melodies in with your strumming patterns. So let's zoom in and do this. Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit subscribe. There's tons of stuff we're going to do. Now, I'm in standard tuning right now, but if you want to play along to uh, the recording that he made, you're going to have to tune down everything flat. So tune your E to E flat, tune your A to A flat, and so on. First thing I want to show you is that little lick that starts off the song, that little... That little lick that takes us into the strumming. All on the fifth string, we're going to play zero, then three, then two, and then zero. And I want you to start that off on an upstroke. So I would pick up on the zero, down on the three, up on the two, and then down on the zero. And the reason why is because that last downstroke, that one on the open, that is uh, going to be the first stroke of our strum rhythm. And most of the time that we're playing that lick, we're going to be going into an A power chord, but there's a couple of times we're going to go to a different chord. We're going to go to an E power chord, and uh, whenever we do that, the lick will just be a little bit different. It'll start off the same way. It'll be 0, 3, 2, all on the fifth string. So 0, 3, 2, but the open this time will be on the sixth string. for the song we're going to need an open A power chord so nothing on the sixth string then zero two two an open E power chord so zero on the sixth string two two a C power chord so nothing on the sixth string three five five a D power chord so slide your hand up two frets nothing on the sixth five seven seven we need an open G chord, 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, 3. And we need a B power chord, so nothing on the 6th string, 2, 4, 4. Now the basic strum rhythm we're going to try to use is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could count that as 1, 2, and, and 4, and. That's one of the best strum rhythms you could know. We're going to try to stick to that one, and there's a couple of times we're going to put in an extra strum, and I'll try to point that out. One, two, three, and four, and one. And to play that part, we just started off on that little run, so zero, three, two, all on the fifth string. And then I hit the open to start off my strum on the A chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up. I hang out on that chord a little bit longer and I go down, down, up, down. Start that little lick again. And this time I'm going to the E chord, so I'm going to hit the open on the sixth string. So I'm starting from that little run, then to the E. Stay there a little longer, so down, down, up, down. Start that little lick again, and we're into the next part. Two, three, four. She gives me everything. keep things simple, I'm just going to call that whole part a verse, even though it's kind of a chorus too. Um, we start off on the open A power chord, we do the strum there once, down, down, up, up, down, up, go to the E, back to the A, back to the E, but end it with that lick. Back to the A again, go to the E, Go to the C, and then 
Back to the D. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We go to a G chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Back in that little lick. And then right after that, we go immediately back to another verse section. So we start over and we play the exact same chords again. And uh, this is when he would start singing um, Bright Are the Stars That Shine. Two, three, four. So to play that part, the other part, we could call it an interlude, we start off on a B power chord, so down, down, up, up, down, up, then we go to the G, down, up, up, down, up, back to the B, back to the G, one more time on the B, now the G, now we go to the D, down, down, Stay there again, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then after that section, we go back in, we do the other section, the verse section, one more time. And it's the exact same thing as it was the first couple of times, but we're going to insert that lick one extra time. So we start off on the A, then we go to the E, and we go right into the lick, right there. Then we go back into the A back to the E with the lick and the rest of it it didn't change at all and then right after that we just go back we do another intro we just make it go a little bit longer this time all right good job and I kind of like this one um, as weird as it sounds I almost felt like this song brought two different eras of my life together I remember uh, some of my earliest memories growing up were riding around in a car listening to 60s music and especially the Beatles and um, when I became a little bit older became a teenager I remember I got really big into uh, Nirvana so being able to hear Kurt play a Beatles song that's just pretty cool I don't know what about you guys what's some of the earliest music you can remember listening to if you're new here we try to improve by learning lots of new songs but I also want you to know that I think the right song at the right time could really help somebody out so if you can and you have a chance to you should let them hear it um, thanks for liking and sharing this video follow me on social media and I'll see you guys next time